Well, on the drive home, we saw someone that had a sign up that they were homeless on the way home. And about, oh, months ago, we prepared little kits to keep in the car, homeless kits to give to people. Well, good morning. Kendra is off at Freezer Group, so she's making freezer meals for next month. The kids are helping me out with some chores. We're trying to get all that done before mom comes home so the house is clean and ready to go. So we're listening to some of our favorite music and working together. So I just got back from Freezer Group. I think we got like eight new meals. Yummy, what there's, are some of the meals? There's a creamy spinach enchiladas that we haven't tried before and an Italian sub soup that looks really good. So, um, and then a bunch of regular ones that we've had before. Well, the kids I are glad to see ya. To being chilly. Yeah, it's nice to come home to snuggle since I'm home with them all the time. I don't usually get this feeling of like being away and coming back. So, I think they're happy to see me. Or they're just watching our show. So through our entire marriage, we've gotten wheat bread. And I think I've eaten wheat bread even since I was like 13 or 14 on. But I grew up on white bread, like the cheap, soft white bread. And Kendra had to get white bread for some recipe. I love it. White bread is so good. But we never get it because it's not as healthy. But it's so soft and yummy. What kind of bread do you guys prefer? Yeah, you threw it on the floor. Laura, did you put your food all on the ground? Yes. Say sorry, peeps. Yeah, peeps. So I was sitting down to eat, and Caleb has something he wants to say to all of you. If you guys want to come here, come here for handstand practice. You're going to teach him? Okay. If you want, don't know. If you don't know how to do a headstand and you want to learn, you can come here, and Caleb will teach you. And even if you want to do it, parents. So I'm trying really hard to relax and not stress. <sighs> Taking like slow, deep breaths. And um, But I'm still figuring out the clothes. There's a pile of clothes here and shoes. I'm thinking I'll just go like this for the family countries. Got it. Super helpful. So while the boys were gone at the football game, I got a package from a good friend. Her name is Lindsay, and I met her through YouTube. And this package, it just came at just the right time, and it just made me so happy. I actually like opened it up and read the note on the couch just like tearing up. Just it's so sweet when you have such wonderful friends and they understand you so well and they connect with you and this package, she knows me really well guys. Check it out. Okay so I got a coloring book. Look how beautiful that is. You like it Cubby? Yeah. Then she sent this children's book which is a classic that we have ironically never read. A Lush Bath Balm, which I've never tried a genuine Lush one. I've heard of them, but I was reading the ingredients. It has seaweed in it. Like, I, you can you can see, I was like, what is that? And it smells amazing. The whole package, when I opened up the package, I was like, what smells so good? Okay, then she sent a prayer journal. And I have not tried using a prayer journal before, but I was looking through it. I'm so excited to try this. She had told me about what a blessing it's been in her life. So, this one is chocolate. Every good care package has chocolate. T minus two hours until family pictures. Wish us luck. So Mr. Caleb does not want to go outside and play. He wants to stay in here and hang out with mom. Yeah. You helping me get ready? Yeah. So I'm blow drying and he's brushing my hair and I had to just get the vlogger and show you guys what he was up to. So we're headed down to get our pictures. We're all in the car and dressed, and Laura was freaking out, so we sang Old MacDonald. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And on the farm he had a duck. E-I-E-I-L. With a quack quack here and a quack quack there. Here quack, there quack, everywhere quack quack. So Jillian is one of our friends. She actually has cute little kids that have come out with us several times on She's field trips and stuff. She's friend of mine. Yeah. <laughs> no smile? Dad did all that and you won't even smile? Smile! <laughs> Hey, who did it again? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Make a silly face. That's good. McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a cow, cow, E-I-E-I-O. With the moon here and a moon. Wait, that's gonna look bad. We're all gonna be like. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we survived family pictures. Jillian was amazing to work with. The location was beautiful, and the kids really did pretty well. Like, for their ages, they did awesome. Laura struggled, but she's little. That's to be expected. I'm always comforted so. when it's like, we only need one of those to have turned out. So I think we've got at least one. Owie? You have an owie? Show us your owie. Where's your owie? Oh, did you bump your knee? Are you all right? No. No. And you bumped your head. She right into a glass wall. <laughs> yeah. It was a little bit of a struggle during the pictures. Are you going to be all right, big girl? <laughs> There's your owie. Do you want me to give you kisses? Owie. Kisses. Mm -hmm. Got it. Does it feel better? Okay. Okay, you guys. So if you're in the Kansas City area and you need a good photographer, JillianFarnsworth.com. That's your website, right? Yeah. Thanks. Check her out. <laughs> We've loved working with her, and you'll see the pictures. They turned out good, I hope. Well, on the drive home, we saw someone that had a sign up that they were homeless on the way home. And about, oh, months ago, we prepared little kits to keep in the car, homeless kits to give to people that we see that are in need. And so Jeremy got out of the car, and he gave him the kit. And the man is so grateful. Like, I can tell just standing here, like, he said hello to the kids. And anyway... That man's name was Quentin, and he's a 52-year-old, and he was really thankful for your bag. He said, thank you so much. He said he hasn't been getting a lot of food, and it's been really hard for him to get a job, and so he's been really struggling. So he said, thank you, you guys. Isn't that cool? So now he'll have some things to help him. Yeah. And we told him that we would pray for him, too, okay? So we'll say a, pray a prayer for Quentin tonight, okay? okay? You guys remind us? I'm really glad you guys made those bags. It's a cool thing to be able to go out and talk to someone instead of just putting money out the door. Good night. Get house out. Are you up in the tree, big girl? She's so happy to be up there. Sure. Laura wanted to go into the teepee. <laughs>